in and welcome to today's upload. My name is Emma, stick around for hauls, vlogs and chats. If you are new here, I am currently in California as I film this week at a Disney theme park for love and family. I have all sorts of playlists of Paris, Florida, cruises and today we're off to Universal Studios or Universal Hollywood. We're very excited, we've never been before, so we've never seen Super Mario World, we've never done the, um, what else is there that we've not done? Kung Fu, Panda. Kung Fu Panda, Secret Life of Pets. If you are interested in our Universal Vlogs from Florida, I will leave a link below so you can go and check those out. We are currently staying at, what's this hotel called? Garland. The Garland Hotel, which is not too far from Universal Studios, and they actually have a little bus that runs you there for free every hour. So we're gonna go and get the little bus. It's kind of half past seven now. The first bus is eight o'clock, the park opens at nine. So we're hoping to kind of rope drop it. It is spring break as I'm filming this, and it's, um, what month are we in? End of March. So it's kind of nice weather. If you're thinking of coming at this time of year, I'll be able to show what it's like. So I have no idea what the crowds are like. I imagine quite busy. We have got the wand from Universal in Florida. So hopefully we can do some whew, magic trips as well. We've got a bag packed of snacks and drinks, and we're gonna go and get on the coach. No, very excited. I'm wearing trainers. We're all wearing trainers. Hoping for no rain. The sun's looking blue and um, hoping for a lovely time. So come along with us and enjoy the day out in Universal Hollywood. Yay! Boop! Here we are. We are nice and early for the first bus. If I just show it you. Look how cute that is. Let the good times roll. Um, the geeks are at the front of the queue. So we're going to go and get on the bus and get to Universal. Uh, if you want to know more about the hotel, go and check out the travel day and also the hotel um, tour. It is a beautiful hotel. We have arrived. You've got the Universal Ball Globe and the kids are so excited because you've got a red carpet. How fun has this got? <laughs> pose, 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 pose. Oh, you look so cute. Look. Yeah, you ready? Did it? Come on, we need to be like strutting down it. <laughs> I love it. We are in the queue for rope drop. You can get early access to Super Nintendo World. We have not got that. It was sold out. We are stood here in the queues. Um, yeah, we're still going to go there. I'll let you know what time it opens. I think it opens about 15 minutes early and then we can walk to where we've got to get. So um, our plan is Super Nintendo first, isn't it? Get there straight away. And he wants a power-up band, maybe. A golden. A golden power-up band, okay. We made it in, here we go. Look, here is the little famous uh, film crew. Um, and then we're gonna walk down and go to Super Mario Land, I think. I think it's gonna be busy. Uh, but we will, we will get there, that's the plan. I think we're gonna have to queue for a while, but let's go to Super Mario. It's got very Hollywood studio vibes, I think. So we are just walking down the main alley and I know we have to go down some big escalators. So, to get to where we're going, yeah. Um, so I think it takes about 10 minutes to get, I have no idea what the time is. But do you know what time it is, Munchkins? I'm just 35 to. 35, 25 to. Oh, so it doesn't open till nine o'clock anyway. So, oh, I think we get, to, I think we get to this bit now, Munch. I think we get to this bit and then we get lit in later. So to give you some context, um, if you get here at half eight, um, who we've got before, in front of us and who we've got behind us, so let's have a look. That's in front. Laps behind. So we've not got as many people in front of us as we've got behind us, have we? Yeah. So we're gonna try and go to Super Mario and I reckon it's gonna be about an hour. Think, yeah. You think? Yeah, I'm gonna get gold Mario. Oh, it's a power up thing. I'll show you. if you get to one, I'll show it you. We have made it to the escalators, we're going down the escalators. Um, look at the view, it's beautiful. Steve wants to go on that golf course. So we've gone down the first escalator. I think there might be another one. Um, it's lovely weather, lovely. There it is, guys. It's over there. There's Jurassic Park ride. Look, just there. I've got another, another escalator to get down, and then we're in there. 
Guys, we are here. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> did you just hear somebody scream? I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so fun. We are here. People are screaming, they're so excited. I'm so excited. Yay, G, Stephen. Stephen, look. So fun. This is cool. Everyone is really, I don't know, it's just like there's such a nice atmosphere. I can hear it's very noisy. Oh, I just love it. Woo! Love it. It's so bright and colourful. Brilliant! Stephen, it's so fun. <laughs> We're inside. It's so nice and cute and bright and colourful. If you are big Super Mario fans, this is just your cup of tea. So we're walking up now. We pretty much got in for nine o'clock, I think. There we go. I've just got a feeling we're gonna get around the corner, there's gonna be a massive queue. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a big old stinking queue now. Here we go, we're at the top and you can see inside the world. When I go, you can see down there. So Mario and Luigi are just in down there meeting um, people. It's just so... You what, sorry? Stephen was just going to have a gossip and then realised I was filming and stopped. <laughs> Get that shot, boy. Here we are. I, guys, I'm telling you now, I have absolutely no idea what this ride is. Mario Kart. No, I know what it's called, but I don't know what you do on it. I feel like, is it... Bowser's Castle. Yeah, no, but what do you do on it? Is it a 3D thing? Is it a... It's a ride. <laughs> a ra <laughs> it's a ride. We've established it's a ride. We are inside Bowser's. <laughs> Ethan is literally climbing up the walls. He's so excited. Are you excited? Did you spunk your elbow? Oh no! Stephen, you getting the shots? Yeah. Get <laughs> Stephen's looking at the wait time. So when we got in here, it said it's 75 minutes. Now it's 100 minutes. So that's quite good. Uh, I should have set a time. Actually, I think we got here just before nine. So I'll let you know exactly how long it took. It is a brilliant queue. Stephen is, has turned into a eight-year-old boy telling us all about his many years and triumphs on Super Mario. It's very, very, very cute. There's Bowser at the end. Hey, Mario, I challenge you to a race. Don't chicken out. Do I look cool? Do I, should I wear this? Out. We've now got these things on our heads. We're we'll through the next stage. <laughs> Going to Stephen. <laughs> We're through the next stage. Uh, don't know what's happening now. It's very exciting. That was a 10 out of 10 ride. So you get in a little car and it's like you're in Super Mario the game and you can see it through your little, you have like little computer screens on your eyes, am I making any sense? And you have to shoot things and like you're driving it. It's very, very, very fun. The only thing I compare it to is maybe Ratatouille, Stephen, do you think? Yeah. A Ratatouille track, but with stuff, computer stuff going on with your eyes. It's very, 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 very fun. And we're now just sat here, the kids are in the gift shop, as kids always do, go in gift shops. I'll show you one of the, the big gift shop up on the top level because it's very busy here um, and then we're gonna go do some more rides. One of my favourite things since the theme parks is just to sit and watch people and Ethan and I, if you've watched our, uh, oh hang on he's going to show you something. What's it? 24, 24 pounds. This is what he decided to, Whoa. this is what he wanted to spend his, his money on for his, because he's got a gaming bedroom, so the Mario Kart Universal 
pack of holes that. It's quite heavy as well, you know, isn't it? Yeah. So that'll look really good in his game and bedroom. So he's chuffed with that. Yeah, we love just sitting and watching people. The power up um, always too bring. <laughs> he's saying the power up van is too expensive. I think if you lived in LA, um, it would be great if you were coming here all the time. It's fifty-four pounds. Fifty-four dollars. That's not saying you might not get it. Fifty-four dollars for the gold one. But okay, fifty-four dollars for the limited edition power up van. So power up van is you do loads of games in there. Yes. But you have to queue to do the games, so it's 42. Um, we're just sitting here and eating snacks. Um, I always bring snacks into the park, so you're allowed to. We've got drinks. Erin and Ethan, not Erin and Ethan, Erin and Daddy have gone on Jurassic Park ride, which it's not us, is it? It's not a bit of us. No, thank you. Because I went on the one in Florida, and the drop is so steep, it goes like this. He went on the Florida yes, one and he was like, no, he was like, hard pass. So uh, we are going to sit here for a couple of minutes. They'll be done in a bit. I packed um, rain max for them to wear, so that will keep them dry. And then we're gonna, I think, maybe see what the ride weight is for Transformers and then make our way back up to the top again, going off at the right. Um, I don't, actually, I don't know if the, I don't know if the studio, I don't know, I don't know if the studio tours on this one, but Ethan's not feeling it, is he? So, I don't know if that might be Stephen. Maybe I might do that with Erin. I don't know, we'll see. I'll let you know. <laughs> Hi! Yeah, I got your top one. <laughs> <laughs> we are just about to go and do the studio tour. Oh, there's Hogwarts. And here is the stuff that is being filmed today. Lopez v. Lopez, E! Entertainment, Access Hollywood, The Voice, which is very exciting, and Quantum Leap. Who remembers Quantum? It's Will I Am in the American Voice as well, Ethan. Yeah, so we're going to go on the studio tour. There's no way. We're going to go and have a little mooch. It's an hour long, so they advise you go for a wee beforehand. So that's the plan now. and had a brilliant time. Um, I inserted some footage. Every time you go on it, it's not necessarily the same as the last time you went on it. So there's some bits we didn't see. We didn't see the plane scene. We didn't go into the bit where you go, there's an earthquake. Uh, but it was just brilliant. It was so fun. And it's made me really excited for the Warner Brothers tour we're going on. Dramatic music. Because <laughs> I am in the Simpsons land. So it's very dramatic music. And so let me just show you. Here we go. This is very similar to the one in Florida. So unless the queue time goes down, we're not going to go on the Simpsons ride, are we? I don't think. Um, Crystalland, you've got some uh, sideshow Bob games and stuff over there. A Quickie Mart, Christie's meeting over there. But yeah, unless the queue time goes drastically down, we're not going to go on that ride because we've been on it quite, quite a few times. Yeah. <laughs> We just met Shrek as you've seen and that was a really fun meet and greet and over there is um, Scooby-Doo, what are they called? Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Machine, the Mystery Gang, I don't think that's right is it? Scooby-Doo and his friends. So we're sat in this like courtyard bit which has got loads and loads and loads of places to sit down which is really nice. I need to look if there's like um, a parade or everything. I don't know if there is here. So the kids are going to work out what they're eating and we just sat in the shade and relaxing for a bit. Hello. What's going on, man? Good to see you. So glad you guys are here. Where are you guys from? I love England. You guys got a king. Yeah, but you used to have a queen. Yeah, we had a queen too. I have no idea what happened to him. He's gone. <laughs> Hiya! Hello! How Hello. are you doing today? Good, Good thank I'm you. Doing amazing, thank you for asking. <laughs> Where are you headed to? The ride! Bye. Secret Life of Pets ride! Alright! Yeah, your ride! Well, I'm not going to say anything else because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> hey, bye! Just save you a lot of familiar faces, okay? Hey, bye! See you later! Bye! bye. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? Oh, there's so, but there's so many characters here. 
so many more than Florida. Uh, so we're gonna go on the ride now, get in the queue, very excited. All these houses here, if you press the doorbell, like minions talk to you and stuff, it's really fun and interactive. Let's have a look a look guys. So as we're going through the ride, <laughs> they're having a pool party. It's very um, good queue. <laughs> this reminds us of our friends Jocelyn, Alex and I, who might be watching this video of their dog Herbie. We all went, oh it's Herbie! They are coming to California soon so they'll be able to see it for themselves. <laughs> oh, this queue has been oh, so long. It said 25 minutes. I think we've been in here 14 years. When I come out, I'll probably 60, I think. But it's a very good, cute queue. But we've been in here. The children have turned on each other. Is this at the end yet? I don't know. Are we at the end? Oh, it's very cute. Is it nearly the end? We got on! It's a very cute little ride. Very noisy. Very, very, very sweet. I know, it's so cute. Come on, go down this track. But his head's stuck, look. That was a very cute ride. We're now going into Super Silly Fun Land, which has like a big water park with not one single child in it. I think we're coming back tomorrow. I reckon Ethan's gonna want to come on that tomorrow. But you want to go on that tomorrow, Stephen? <laughs> there's no one in it, is uh, there? Kind of, yeah. it, oh, there's one person in it. And a really hot day. That would be extremely fun. <laughs> there's one person in it. It looks like he's in just his actual full clothes. So. Right, there's a couple of rides in here. I think the kids are gonna go on. We just went to guest relations and picked up a first visit badge and then Stephen was like, but it's not our first visit, it's mine and Stephen's second visit. First visit as a family, so we've got the kids badge as well. These are free and also it is the first year anniversary of Super Mario Nintendo World. So we got one of those as well. Sorry, I think I've been calling it Super Mario World, so I do apologise. Yeah, is this out of focus? Let me focus in. There we go. So, um, in Disney World, you can get free badges and also in Universal Florida you can get um, a first visit badge as well. So these are just nice little memories to take home and the man put our names on them was very friendly. I am sat in the glorious sunshine waiting for our little bus to go back to the hotel. Um, it is every hour so that's Stephen running around the background. I have to say um, we didn't show, I had, we didn't go into the Hogwarts Harry Potter bit, we haven't been in there as yet. We're gonna save that for tomorrow. But I have to say, I absolutely loved that theme park. I just thought that was so fun. I really, really, really loved it. I loved um, the energy of the people cheering when they got in the Super Mario world. All the staff were super friendly. Um, there's lots of like school trips here, nurseries, like it just seems a bit more like of a local park. I also loved the character meet and greets. There were so many. We saw Shrek, we saw Donkey, we saw Hello Kitty, Scooby Doo, like Frankenstein. Just loads of really fun meet and greets without massive queues. The ride queues have been a bit busy, but I think that's because it's spring break. Um, but not, not too bad. But yeah, I'm going to get the little bus, go home, get changed, and hopefully, I'm just laughing because there's London like probably five year olds have just walked past. One of them has obviously just won a giant duff beer. Let's <laughs> carry the giant duff beer stuff out, it's so funny. Right, I will see you back at the hotel. Guys, I don't know what vlog I'm tagging this on, but I'm tagging it onto something. Um, I've just had literally the most exciting moment, but I will prequel it with where we are. Okay, so we are in like a funny little shopping mall. There's a food supplies, there's a cleaners, a pizza place, an interior design, and then here is Schwartz and Sandy's from Vanderpump Rules. If you watch it, 
you know how excited I am to come and visit anyway. Right, I'm balancing you on a giant drink. So, I last left you at the scene of the crime, Schwartz and Sandys. And if you watch Bravo, which I know some of you do, you will know that is Tom Schwartz and Tom Sandoval's bar. One of my lovely followers on Instagram direct messaged me and said, oh, there's like a viewing party at Schwartz and Sandys tomorrow night from five. And obviously I've got the kids, I can't go in a bar um, from like, Five till nine. Is you work? Okay, I'm just telling the people about me, Tom Schwartz. So, Stephen, really, you really, because I was not going to go, was I? And you really encouraged Stephen. Really encouraged me to go because I wasn't. I was. I was. Wasn't going to go because I just was a bit anxious. And we got there, and we were just filming some Instagram, and I was just taking some footage. He got out of his car, Tom Schwartz got out of his car, and I levitated, didn't I? The kids are literally going, <laughs> and I went over to him, and he couldn't have been any nicer. How nice is he? He was so nice. There were some other people there from Australia, about, were there about five people from Australia? Yeah, absolutely. So they all had pictures, and I took all photos for them and everything, and then I had a photo, and then a bit later, I was filming some other stuff when I was talking to you, and... He came out again, the kids had a photo with him, and he was just so nice. I'll put the photo of me in now. He was so nice, and it was just... I just love Bravo so much. I love reality TV so much, and it was just my dream. So, just a little, a little bit in the middle of a vlog that made me very happy. So, I didn't want to not show you Hogsmeade and Harry Potter and everything. We have rope drop today, and I've come in here. First, rather than the Super Mario area, thought I could show it you all nice and empty. I will try some butter beer for you later. He'll be much busier later. I'm gonna have warm butter beer, you know, that's my plan. So, we're gonna go on a couple of rides here. Ethan and I are gonna go and do the magic tricks with his wand. It's nice being so empty, isn't it? It feels a bit more um, spacious. Hey. <laughs> I'll do some photos in a bit. I just want to get to the rides. <laughs> it feels a bit bigger. Is it just bigger because it's emptier? I think the castle looks really big here. Look at that. Wow, what a reveal, guys. It's amazing, isn't it? Ethan and I don't want to go on this ride. I've been on it before and I find it quite scary. But you have to come walk through even if you don't go on it because it is just so immersive and magical. We just walked on to the flight of the Hippogriff and Erin and Stephen are going to go on again. And yeah, Ethan really enjoyed that ride. She's not a huge roller coaster fan, he really liked it. So we're now going to use Ethan's wand from Warner Brothers, not Warner Brothers, Universal in Florida and use it on the tricks in Hollywood. So we're gonna look for the little stars on the floor and try and do some little tricks and I'll show you a few. I know that I haven't got the big dragon here, have they? But that is so much more chilled than the Florida one. And you can just get loads of photos and it's just a lot more relaxed. But you, you do have the big dragon in University of Florida, which is amazing. Right, we're gonna go on some more rides. And then I'm gonna go back and get my butter beer because hot butter beer wasn't, wasn't warm yet. Oh, I nearly got a wand in my face then. The boys are just excited because they've both got matching bas bas basketball. What am I talking Please. about, baseball? Can I show it, please? Hats. I bought, uh, I treat them to a hat. I'm gonna treat Erin to some Disney ears. And make sure you subscribe so you watch the Disney vlog or if it's been up, go and watch it. Um, so, Universal Studios, we're currently on City Walk, which is, I'm gonna say, 70 times better than the Florida one. It's quiet, it's clean, there's loads of places to eat. There's loads of chairs to sit. We're currently in like a food hall. <laughs> With Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, 
Oh, Erin wants me to tell you there's a Sephora. We've got um, Panda Express. Hot Topic. Oh, there's a Hot Topic. There's a Billabong. What else is there? <laughs> a cinema. Chili. A tooth and chocolate in for pouring. Erin wants me to show you that she got this. Voodoo Donuts. Oh, there's a Voodoo Donuts. Buy a house in. There's so many shops, so I really like it. So, we're going to go around. Oh, hang on. Ethan wants me to show you. He just got given a free hat. Don't buy a house. I'm gonna, I might wear it. Oh, oh my god, I've got such a big head. <laughs> what do you think? So, we're gonna go around and we're going to do a review out of 10 for Universal Hollywood. I'm worried I've got broccoli in my teeth. Have I got broccoli in my teeth? Yeah. 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 Have I? Yeah. Oh god, I'm oh, sorry. Hang on. Well, that just took 10 minutes to get broccoli out of my tea. Apologies if I was Emma Broccoli Mouth in the first portion of our review. So, <clears throat> out of 10, I'm going to give Universal Hollywood 9. Go on, what do you Hang on, two seconds. It's clean. The staff are so friendly. There's loads to do. There's loads of characters. There's loads of places to sit. There's loads of places to eat. There's loads to do. It would get a 10 if it had a few more rides. There's not like a huge amount of rides. I think you could easily do this in a day. We did it in two days. I think you'd easily do it in a day, couldn't you? Um, absolutely loved it. And it's better than the Florida one for me. Stephen. I'll give it a six. <laughs> what? Out of 10? Out of 10? There's no roller coaster. There's no roller coasters. No real ride. No real ride. <laughs> well, that's nice. Is that it? Yeah, everything else You're is nice. You're boring me. Oh. <laughs> You're boring me. Out of ten? Nine point five. Nine point five. What do you like about it? That there's not many rides. No, that's what you don't like about it. You need it needs a few more rides. Oh, that's no, that's what, like. what I like about it. Oh. <laughs> You like there's not no, many rides. No, 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 not, not really that, not that. Is that you can like go from spot to spot and have the whole day? Yeah, it's a whole day. It's not a week long experience, is it? It's so like, like you, you can take your time. Like if you want to wait in a long queue, you can wait in a long queue. And they have Mario. Okay, yeah, I get that. You can wait in a long queue and not worry that you're missing out on anything else. Yeah. Love it. Um, seven and a half or eight. Seven and a half. Crazy. Because like uh You like the big rides as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, like the thrill rides, there's no roller coasters like in Florida. They have uh, an outdoor coaster. roller coasters. Oh he came in with another comment. No, no, but oh. if you come here, you can go six flags. You could go to six flags, yeah, yeah. But yeah. then they have that big fun time in Florida. I don't know. If you came here you could book this for day. Oh, Oh my gosh, their food is ready. You could book this for a day and then go and go to Six Flags, which is supposed to be a big um, park. Overall, absolutely loved it. If you have any questions about Universal Studios in Hollywood, is it just called Universal Hollywood? Oh, I've been calling it the wrong name, probably. Probably. Please do let me know in the comments. If you are coming at Easter, be aware the first week, um, this week has been America's Spring Bay. So it's quite busy and also beware on the night times it is freezing colder than england colder than england we were out last night in shorts and t-shirts and i was nearly crying it's so cold so make sure you bring a spirit jersey with you a hoodie a jacket some leggings wrap up warm wrap up warm i recommend pineapple fanta he recommends pineapple fanta and if that's the only thing you take away from this video that's brilliant. We are at Warner Brothers Studios. We have come into the first section, which is like a history kind of room. It's got cartoon sections. You start off learning about the birth of Warner Brothers and it's got the infamous water tower. It's so nice and clean in here. I know that sometimes I say stuff like this and you're all like, that's boring, but this is what mum's so nice and clean. It's lovely, isn't it? I don't know if it's like new, there's so much gorgeous stuff and also I will show you in the shop which you are going to lose your mind so you just go around we're just waiting for a big school group to go and then we will go on the tour don't know if I'm going to be able to film anything in the tour but I will insert some photos if I can't there we go it's just lovely here wait till you see the shop you're going to die
So this is the reason we are here because Erin and I have been watching Gilmore Girls the past just over a year and we've just finished it so we're gonna go hopefully and drive through the set of Gilmore Girls again. I don't think you can take, I don't know what I'm gonna be able to film or take footage but if I can't do anything I will leave a link below of like a tour that somebody has been able to film stuff in but yeah I can't wait. Such an exciting moment for us both. We've come into like a seating area and I presume we're going to watch some sort of magical history of films film. I bet it's a bit like the one at Warner Brothers Studio Tour, but it's me and Steve just going, it's so nice in here. We need to look if it's new or not, but we keep going, it's just so nice. These are the outfits from My Fair Lady. And over here are some gangster outfits. And we've got some leading lady dresses, Elizabeth Taylor, Joan Crawford, Betty Davis, Lauren Bacall, and Olivia de Havilland. I'm wonder wondering if I've presented, said that wrong. So, this, it's such, oh, you found the Batmobile? Oh, right, we're going to the Batmobile. So this um, is some of the stuff that you can see at the end of the tour. We have got the Big Bang Theory here. <laughs> These aren't real people. <laughs> They're plastic models wearing the clothes. So you can see that scene as well. No, they've got they've not they've got this at Warner Brothers Studios in London, haven't they? Or out just outside London, and where you can pretend to be. Hang on, let me try this one, Ethan. I'm gonna dab. Oh, oh no, you couldn't see. Oh, what? Go on, you do it. Dab. Oh, am I in the way? I'm in the way. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, just a pair of dabbing golems. No, not golems, dobbies. Why am I calling him Gollum? It's Dobby. We are in Central Park. It's really fun. I think there's a Phoebe outfit over there. Let me show you. Here we go. We've got Phoebe's costume and a smelly cat. Is this attached? Because if it's not attached, I'm going to play a... Damn it. Damn it, it's attached. Otherwise, I've played you a little song. This is such a great tour. I love it. We've come to the last part of the tour. I cannot recommend this tour highly enough. So we are in massive what? The Batmobiles are in here, so we're gonna have a look at the Batmobiles. It's like DC stuff and then Harry Potter stuff. I'll show you some. It's so good. So here are some outfits. We've got the Riddler. Uh, that is from the Batman. You know when he's in the um, and he goes mad at the end, doesn't he? Oz, worn by Colin Farrell, that's massive. The Arkham Asylum gate. I'm sure yeah, some of you are just like, who cares? <gasps> oh my gosh, look, Heath Ledger's um, Joker costume and Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze. Absolute classics. I'm gonna get a photo of that one. Here is the Batmobile from the 2022. So that's Batman. That is um, Selena Kyle. She was Catwoman, wasn't she? And there are some, oh my gosh, this is so good. My dad, Granddad Rog, if you're watching this, you would lose your mind. It's so good, isn't it? All the just, do you want me to take a picture of you in the middle? Yeah, and right, okay, I'm just gonna go and take some photos. I'll be right back. We're all losing our minds. The crypt, don't touch the kryptonite. Don't touch the kryptonite. We've got a uh, Man of Steel up there. Gosh, that was 10 years ago. Um, Stephen just ran around and went, the Batmobiles are all around the corner. There's nothing hidden in your head the sorting hat can't see. So try me on. I will tell you where you ought to be. Your patience and willingness to help others do you great credit. The heart as large as yours we are in the Harry Potter section now. It's very cute. They've gone now. Maybe they'll come back in a bit. Oh, oh. Very, very sweet. <laughs> right, jump out the case. <laughs> 
if you've watched to the end, I love you lots. I will see you for another upload soon. There's either a Disney vlog coming or a Disney vlog happened. You need to go and check it out. Also, I did a room tour and a hotel tour of where we're staying on a travel day. I love you lots and I will see you soon. Bye guys.